Joining us now from the State House is Assembly Speaker and Senate candidate Sheila Oliver. Madam Speaker, good of you to join us here. Let, let's talk a little bit about where this, this campaign is going. First and foremost, I have to ask you this. Just moments before this interview, I went to the Federal Election Commission website and I see Senate committees for Cory Booker, Senate committees for Rush Holt, and for Frank Pallone. I do, I've searched under your name. I do not see a committee that has been established in your name. Have you done all of the paperwork necessary to formally become a candidate in the eyes of the Federal Election Commission? I have, and let's describe what that process is. Um, when you are going to uh, declare a candidacy, you cannot file Form 2, which is your declaration of candidacy, until you have either spent or raised $5,000. So I filed my petitions on the 10th of June. Uh, Cory Booker had already established an FEC account and Congressman Holt and Congressman Pallone as incumbent current office holders already had FEC committees established. So, uh, you know, you take me, I come in and file petitions on the 10th, I then have to raise or spend $5,000 before I can even submit my paperwork. I see. And you've, so, you've at this, at this point, that. at this point, I guess we, we see that you are now announcing a major fundraising effort underway. Uh, where are you, you going to get the, the kind of money to, to close those numbers in the polls? I mean, have you been in touch with, with donors who have been there with you for a long period of time? Are, are promises being made to you? Yes, I, I'm, I'm actively fundraising. And I, I mean, I think the, the thing to examine here, though, Mike, this is a very truncated uh, campaign cycle. Um, filing petitions on the 10th of June, and then there's an election on mm -hmm. August 13th. This is not the same kind of a campaign that you would normally see when a candidate runs for a year or two years prior to an election cycle. Absolutely. There's, so no, there's a, no doubt about a, that. That's why I was wondering yeah. whether, whether you're moving quickly enough to accomplish your goal here. Well, I, I, I'm not going to I'm, I'm, of course, moving very quickly, but I cannot negate the fact that the three candidates in my primary already were ahead of me because they you know, already, we have already two members, already incumbents in Congress, and then uh, Cory Booker, who was going to run uh, for this seat even before uh, we knew that uh, Senator Lautenberg was going to retire, and then subsequently he passed away. So those three candidates had already uh, been uh, in motion prior to myself. Madam Speaker, you have made a very strong and eloquent case for, for this being the time for New Jersey to once again have a woman represented in, in Congress. And we haven't since March Rockham retired more than a decade ago. In, in making that case, have you connected with women's organizations in the state? Have you connected effectively with, with women voters? Do you think that that can make a difference for you? Oh, with, without a doubt, that can make a difference. Um, uh, women are very excited uh, about my candidacy and the fact that I had a willingness to step up and step in. You know, every year in the uh, Democratic Party, we host uh, an annual step-up luncheon, and we do it to encourage women to step up. And I think that uh, my candidacy for U.S. Senate is just reflective of something that those of us that are engaged in political leadership do all the time. We travel around the state and encourage women to jump into uh, running for office. Uh, you know, no one ever questions uh, why a man makes a decision to file candidacy and run for, for office, but everyone will question a woman, why are you running? No one has questioned Frank Pallone mm. or Rush Holt or Cory Booker and ask them, why are you running? Why should they question myself? So I think that many women are very excited uh, that, uh, you know, I have stepped up a as a candidate. Madam Speaker, we have to leave it there. We'll see you on the campaign trail. Thanks for coming on the program. Thank you, Mike. Take care.